How can I fix spacing and layout issues in my Outlook email signature? Are you struggling with spacing and layout issues in your Outlook email signature? You are not alone. Many users face this problem due to various formatting conflicts. Let's go through some practical steps to help you fix these issues and create a polished signature. First, adjusting line height settings can make a big difference. Set the line height to two points higher than your font size. For example, if your font size is 12 points, set the line height to 14 points. This adjustment helps prevent email clients from overriding your formatting with their default settings. You can do this in Outlook's signature editor or by using HTML templates. Next, when creating your signature, use Shift plus Enter for single line breaks. This method avoids double spacing that occurs when you simply press Enter. It inserts a line break without adding extra vertical space, keeping your signature neat. If you continue to have issues, consider rebuilding your signature in a plain text editor like Notepad. Copy your signature into Notepad to strip away any hidden HTML formatting, then paste it back into Outlook. After that, you can reapply basic styling such as bold or italics manually. This step helps eliminate inherited formatting issues that might be causing the layout problems. Another useful tip is to modify your stationary settings. You can create a custom stationary template by going to File, then Options, followed by Mail, and finally stationary and fonts. Set your signature within this template to ensure consistent spacing across all new emails and replies. It is also a good idea to disable automatic formatting features. Navigate to Outlooks's options, then Mail, and select Editor options. From there, turn off options like Automatically Format as you type. This action can prevent unexpected spacing changes in your signature. For those who are comfortable with HTML, editing the signature's HTML code directly can provide precise control. Locate the signature file in the App Data folder under Microsoft, then adjust margins and padding using inline cascading style sheets. For example, you can set style is equal to margin, zero, padding, zero to eliminate unwanted space. Finally, always test your signature across different email clients. Send test emails to accounts on platforms like Gmail or Apple Mail to identify any client-specific rendering issues. Adjust the spacing based on the results you see. To summarize your workflow, start with line height adjustments and shift plus enter formatting. If problems persist, rebuild your signature in Notepad or modify your stationary settings. Use HTML editing as a last resort for stubborn layout issues. Regularly test your signatures after major Outlook updates, as rendering engines can change. For organizations, consider using third-party signature management tools to maintain uniformity across all signatures.